several days ago I was helping clean out a barn and I found these old 12 volt trolling motors and so a friend of mine and I have decided to make barrel boats using plastic barrels and yeah I just kind of raced them around on the lake so let's make sure that these are in working order let's look at this one first this one's a phantom bantam looks like it's like maybe the 1950s although I'm not too familiar with these so I could be wrong use a run only when submerged model M2 6 or 12 volt electric fishing motor phantom Products Incorporated, Kansas City, Missouri, serial number 59914, and there's high, off, and low. Now, the cables are a bit crappy, but if they work, I don't see much of a reason to replace them just yet. We can do that later. It's like 10 feet or so. It's actually quite a lot of cable, actually. It definitely works. Before we put it into water, I'd like to see how it's sealed. Because, I mean, I assume this would have a seal on it of some sort, but I don't know how that would hold up to time. I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking at, but... I mean, it seems to be actually pretty sealed on there, so that's good. So it seems like it's actually in pretty good shape. I mean, at least enough for a couple barrel boats to go around the lake a couple times. It just seems so fun. I can't wait to do that. I might want to clean this up because these threads are a bit tight. Either way, I'm going to fill this up so we can test these out because they look pretty nice. My plans for the barrel boat would just be to cut those long ways so they're two long boats, one for each motor, and uh, probably put a lead acid battery in there at first. But then if I can find a nice waterproof container that would hold my Nissan Leaf cells, then two Nissan Leaf cells, as long as they can be waterproof. That would give a lot of a lot of range, and then we could race around in those. That'd be kind of cool, I think. And if not, maybe, well, I think half a boat will be okay, a half a barrel will be okay. But I do know where I can buy these for like five dollars a piece. There's a company in Greenville that sells them for super cheap, and they're already washed out and stuff. So if the, if cutting in half doesn't work out too well, then we can cut like less, and so there's more of a, like it goes higher up. You know what I mean? We're going to play around with that, and then maybe put like a pontoon thing on the side. pretty well. Yeah. That is going to be awesome because that's meant to power like a big boat, not half a barrel. So that is so cool. Now this other one has some wire issues also. Looks like it's just some random wire someone probably stole off a charger or something. Who knows? It's definitely cracked up also. But to be honest, it's only 12 volts, so who cares? It's old cloth covered wire. Like from the 1960s or something.
So this one is the ElectroPAL model 61A, 12 volt serial number 61A5727. So it has off, forward, and reverse. Then also has off one, two, three. Two's kind of covered up there. So that has three speeds. It's overall bigger than the Phantom Bantam, whatever it's called. But I'm not sure if that means it's more powerful or not. But it's nice that it has reverse. The reverse feature is pretty nice. Although I assume on the other one you could just reverse the polarity and it would probably do the same thing. This one, the handle's coming out, so we're going to have to tighten that in. Oh, spider. This one's a bit more heavy than the other one. Kind of like the Phantom Bantam better. So we have forward. Now it's working. It's not filling me with confidence. I need to switch out the switch. At least I know I can just hit it. And if there's any issues, it is just that switch, so... That's cool. This propeller is plastic and it looks like a little key or the set screw thing is not wanting to come out. It's very rusted up, so... Hmm... Or... Oh, it's actually like a pen. I think? Well, since this one's being stubborn, I feel like it's kind of built with lower quality, so I don't want to force it too much because I think I might break it. Forward, one. Two, three, whoa. It may seem like cheaper build quality, but I think this one, I think the Electro Panel has a lot more power than the Phantom Bantam. So we go to two on that one. High. Go to one on that one, then high. Okay, so it seems like two is the same as high on this one, and three is higher than that one. This barrel boat is going to be so much fun. Now let's try high and three. <laughs> That's awesome! Oh my 
my god, that's so cool. Okay, so first off, with low setting, takes five and a half amps, so like what? 60 watts of power, which is a reasonable amount for that low amount of force. High for the Phantom Bantam is about 120 watts. Once again, about what I was expecting, so that's actually pretty good. I was hoping that these wouldn't be taking like 300 watts or something like that, because that might be kind of difficult to power it off of a homemade battery. Because I might be making an 18650 battery for these. I don't know if I want to sacrifice... I, I, don't, want, I don't know if I want to risk my Nissan Leaf cells with these barrel boats. And then, with the going forward, setting one, five amps, so about 60 watts. A little bit less, about 100 watts. Oh, wow. It's like 150 watts, something like that. But not like that. About over volting my or uh, over currenting my multimeter. Going to reverse. Same in reverse. Same in medium. Whoa! A little bit less, actually, it seems. Perhaps the motor just doesn't work the same in reverse as it is forward, because forward takes more amps, it seems. Although, it's kind of hard to tell. It's all about the same, the roughly the same power. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. I think this is probably the coolest thing I got from that barn. I never really thought about these, but it's going to be so cool to use these and put these on funky things. Like, maybe I should make a, a boat using these out of an old wheelbarrow. You know, there's so many funny things you can do. It's going to be so cool. What do you guys think of the barrel boat project? Do you think it might be, might be kind of cool? Either way, I'm going to try it because I'm really curious and it sounds pretty fun. And if you guys have any ideas of things I can do for a homemade little tiny boat, like maybe I can even try to use this thing as a boat. That'd be kind of cumbersome, but it'd be kind of funny just to like fail with it or whatever or see how it goes because I... It probably would suck, but we could see. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm really happy with this. And I think this week, later on this week, I might work on cutting that barrel in half. And then maybe take it over to the lake and just slap one of these motors on to see what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.